Chronic illness is the word chronic. It's slow. It's going to seep and suck the life out of humanity. Diet has everything to do with our health, has everything to do with our diseases, has everything to do with the state of our environment. As we're evolving into a fast-paced, quick-fix society, so is our food. We cannot be eating this garbage. It's not even food. We cannot even call it food. All of these atrocities that the Canadian government has done to our people, that's where the problem is. Disease hits our people hard because really we've only been eating colonized food for maybe about 150, 200 years. The nation speaks to us, but yeah, we want us to fold our ear to that. For me, Alice. This is the knowledge that Indigenous peoples from all over the world have known. Real food has the power to reverse, you know, advanced chronic diseases. It starts with our government, it starts with our leaders, it starts with our local communities. They need to put food industry on notice. People need to start looking at regeneration, regenerative practices. Maybe we, we won't be so sick if we know what our ancestors ate. Let's go back to the basics. The best way to get back to our food ways is to talk to your family or your elders and see what they know. A mom to daughter level right now, all I'm saying is I hope you don't crash and burn. Oh, it's just stupid little things. And I can do it, I'm strong enough, my body is strong enough. If we don't actively do something, I think your grandkids are going to pay a serious price for it. not just a path to being liberated from disease, it's truly a path to, I think, liberating your spirit and your soul.